Hello and welcome back on the XSBS4 IBP channel. Today I wish to present you some of the features about key figure data manipulation in the Excel part of IBP by means of XSBS4 IBP. Let's see that right away in the system. What can we do in the standard IBP? In the standard IBP without any XSBS, what you can do is Excel activities. So in other words, cut, paste, copy, uh, duplicate and then even past special but in the framework of a planning activities like demand planning supply planning it's very often that this is not sufficient and leads to a lot of manipulation a keyboard entry in order to whatever apply a, a percentage factor over a, a number of, of, of values that's where exactly IBP uh, XSBS for IBP is bringing some value let's see first the how can we apply a factor to existing numbers and even percentage and patterns. So for that, I switch to this view. This is a heuristic view, which I'm using here with uh, uh, XSBS. So we see that XSBS is currently launched. And by the way, if I wish, for instance, to say I wish a plus 5% on those selected cells, you have here the change sales action, where you can say I want to propagate a percentage of that and say, I wish to have a 10% upgrade or a minus 10%. So of course, like as per usual in XSBS, whenever you have some settings, you have the explanation of the two parameters you have been shown. And by so doing, then now I've got 1,100 uh, because of the 10% increase. It could also be that I wish to propagate a, a prorate a distribution. What do I mean with that? Currently, the selected key figures says brings up to a, a quantity of uh, 6,407 and then I wish to transform that to, for instance, 15,000. 15,000. So what the system is doing is taking the existing numbers and apply a prorated distribution of the new numbers, which is 15,000 here. Fairly easy uh, to, to use. Other options we can do is to have an even distribution. Let's say I've got no figures. Let's, let's take this one for a second. I've got no, no figure yet, and I wish to apply 125. Of course, you can do 125 control enter if you know that in Excel, but you can also say, well, by the way, I wish to have an even distribution, and the value will be, yes, 9794, for instance. And now the 984 evenly distributed over the selected cells. Then, Last, last options, which I wish to, sh to show you quickly today, just to make it short, it's the function-based one. So currently the function-based is a way, a pretty way to say, okay, for those selected key figures, for instance, I wish to use a function distribution. For that, there is several function distribution. You have linear, cost, power, this function you select here, the one you want to use, for instance, linear. It's a linear progression. And then you see you, you're, you're informed here that it will go from par parameter 1 to parameter 2 value. So let's say I wish to distribute value from 10 to 1500 linearly against the cells. And now we have 10 up to 1500. You can add also constant value. Say I wish to add all uh, from the selected one. I wish to, uh, to, have, to add a uh, value of 11. And then everything is increased by 11. That ends this short video, which shows you how we can manipulate easily those figures. If you have any idea about the functions which would make sense in terms of data manipulation in, uh, in IVP, please revert to me. You can comment the video, you can send me mails. I'm happy to make XSBS evolving in to, uh, towards more features and more sense in terms of planning activity. Bye now.